I fix it claims iPhone 14 now harder to repair than before. Smartphone prices are increasing every day. These days, we see companies easily asking for $1,000 and above for their flagship models. Unfortunately, rising prices also lead to increased repair costs. Users end up having to pay exorbitant fees if their phones get damaged. On top of that, manufacturers like Apple are making it even more expensive by employing various tactics to make their devices hard to open and repair. iFixit, a platform that tests and rates the repairability of technology products, serves as a guide to help users make informed choices. Recently, the platform made headlines by downgrading the repairability score of the iPhone 14. Apple products do not have a great track record when it comes to repairability. For example, iPhones are hard to repair due to their non-modular design, the use of proprietary screws and components, and the lack of documentation and software for third-party repair shops. However, the company had announced a while ago that it would prioritize the right to repair issue and even provide kits to allow users to repair their own products. Although these kits have been sold, the company has still not made the expected improvements in many areas. I fix it, stepping in at this point, re-evaluated the iPhone 14 and lowered its repairability score. The platform has downgraded the repairability score of the iPhone 14 from 7 to 4 out of 10. I fix it says that the iPhone 14 is still an improvement over the status quo, thanks to the self-service repair program, but it is not as repairable as it could be. The site cites several issues. For example, the iPhone 14 employs software locks designed to restrict users from independently repairing specific components, including the battery, display, and Face ID sensor, without specialized tools and authorization from Apple. Even with the introduction of the self-service repair program, certain repairs like battery replacement remain difficult and time-consuming.